Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raven Bloom. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. Two people killed and one left badly injured after a wrong way crash on I-75 Saturday night. According to Flint Township Police, a 43-year-old Flint Township man was driving his car south in the northbound lanes of the highway when he hit another vehicle head on. The crash killed a 24-year-old Flushing woman and a 31-year-old Mundy Township man while leaving a 27-year-old Flushing resident in critical condition. Flint Township Police believe the wrong way driver had been drinking. If you have any information, you're urged to contact the Flint Township Police Department. We're working to learn more about a fire that broke out in Flint Saturday evening. The fire left significant damage to the Atherton East Apartments on the city's south side. No word yet on if, any, or if there are any injuries. Stay with TV5 on air and online for updates. And a family is safe after an RV caught fire outside of their home in Flint Township. Fire Marshal Tim Nestor said the department got the call to the fire on Ketzler Drive off Lennon. And when first responders arrived on the scene, the fire spread to the garage. The family inside the house got out safely, but the home received significant damage. Now here's Kyle with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Raven. Moving forward, we continue with the really nice weather. We're going to have another day of the sunshine. We're talking about the warmth. We're talking about the clear skies. The only difference about tomorrow from today is that we start to increase that warmth force, and that's going to be the trend going through the rest of this coming work week. We're talking about 80s once again, but it's not just anything. We're looking at those middle 80s now for some folks, and we also have the lighter winds out there. Here's a look at your first alert hour by hour as we move forward here. Winds off the bay will be lighter tomorrow than they are today, and you can see that right now as we go into the evening. Notice that there are still some cooler areas along our lakeshore, and that does extend pretty far inland as well, keeping some areas stuck in the 60s and 50s. But as we go into the overnight hours, we'll continue to watch those winds die down for us. We got temperatures cooling down into the upper 40s, lower 50s tomorrow morning and going throughout the day, mostly sunny skies. But as we transition into the day, those winds continue to calm down. That means that the warmth will be more widespread across mid Michigan. So more folks will be able to find their temperatures into those 80s and especially the lower and middle 80s for some folks, especially those furthest away from the lakeshore as we go into the afternoon and evening hours of tomorrow. Otherwise, mostly sunny, uh, those lighter winds, perfect for any outdoor activities you might have planned for your memorial. Memorial Day and going into the rest of this week as well. We continue with that warmth, but also the lack of rain. The dry conditions likely hanging around for us as we go throughout the next seven days here. This is a look at the rain predictor or how much rain we could pick up going out to this time next Sunday. There's not a whole lot of chance in there. We might be able to pick up a couple of showers here and there. Hit and miss, not really doing much to the drought or the drier conditions that we've had and the potential for that developing drought. You can see that I have added a 10% chance for both Friday and Sunday, but even then, very, very low for most of mid Michigan. Otherwise, we're looking at mostly sunny skies, dry conditions, temperatures into the upper 80s and 90s for a couple of days there, cooling off a little bit as we go into the weekend. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.